Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. Money Making Mitch is, Mitch is wearing a hat. And when I wear a hat, you know it's something dynamic. First, let me say this to all of my subscribers who've been holding with diamond hands, who see the future projection and we invest for the long-term future projections and have been even buying the dip even if it's two shares, three shares. I tip my hat to you guys, to you lions and lionesses. What do I have for you guys? Let's start off with this. Neo is trading, it was last trading at $7.56, 37 cent down. The 52 week low is $7 and the 52 week high is $16.18. Now, even though we had another a downgrade yesterday that panicked the market and I said this before the analysts will say something they're not telling you directly that you should oh go and sell your shares this company's gonna go back blah 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 but they word it in a way to scare the uneducated investor to panic and run while they hold shares now listen to this my lions and lionesses I got this from CNEV post and King William Lee has just sent his letter of views to his, his yearly letter to his employees. In the letter, full text, Neo CEO William Lee first letter to employees in 2024. In the letter, Lee laid out his views on the competition in the EV industry in 2024 as well as Neo priorities. As I go on in this, you guys will see what we're getting ready to devastate and dominate the landscape. I'm the only YouTuber that is still saying this, that we will dominate, not just be one of the ones surviving because of battery as a service, because of superior technology, but also because of superior customer service. Listen to this. Founder, chairman and CEO William Lee recently sent out his first letter. We now have the full text of the letter. Dear colleagues, in 2024 is here and I wish you all a happy new year. In 2023, the competition in the smart electric vehicle industry enters the most intense phase of the qualifying round in a macro environment full of uncertainty. Sounds gloomy, right? The past year was another challenging and memorable one for NEO. Our overall performance did not meet the expected goals. Doom and gloom. There are many lessons to be summarized and reflected upon and our organizational capabilities need to be improved as soon as possible. We proved our determination and resilience in the face of adversity with our own actions and withstood challenges to lay a solid foundation for the next stage of our development. In 2023, we began deliveries of five all new models in six months. Oh my God, is it getting better? Hold on, it gets way better. Demonstrating NEO's cap capability and efficiency in product development and delivery. At the NEO Innovation and Technology Day, we presented our 12, 12 full stack technology layouts in full for the first time. Our pilot assisted driving NOP Plus have been expanded from highways to urban roads and we saw that where the uh, manager sent the car to change the battery on its own. Kit, go change this battery. Yes, Michael. <laughs> and the rate of evolution of group intelligence capability is industry leading, not parallel to. We're setting the borders. We're setting the standards. Our user satisfaction and cockpit experience continues to improve. Let me say that again. Our user satisfaction, because customers, customers first, in cockpit experience continues to improve and our first flagship phone, Neophone, was launched when everyone else was saying Neo should not concentrate on phones like Bloomberg, like MSNBC, and Yahoo Finance, those Nancy's. Now everyone is trying to do it. The Shenji, this God chip operating system, 900 volt high voltage platform, Skyride intelligent chassis, and other world leading technologies that we are the first to implement and now they're, all of them will be rushing to try to do it. Unveil alongside our flagship, flagship smart EV ET9 that even Michelangelo will be ashamed of and will wish he could have done that. 
have made it clear to more people that technological innovation is at the heart of NEO. Is it getting better for you guys? It's going to get even better. Listen up. Our delivery volume in 2023 were 160,038 units, a year-on-year -year growth of 30.7%. And we continue to rank number one in China's EV market with an average transaction price of RMB 300,000 or more. With a market share of more than 40%, us alone more than 40%. But yet the analysts giving us an $8 price target. That's why I told you don't listen to these animals. Neo's brand image in the high-end markets is increasingly recognized. Why is that? Why are we increasingly recognized? And remember at one point, even I was saying, I'm a little concerned because we're not advertising, but Tesla never advertised. When King William Lee drove that ET7, guys, and broke the record with the safest, most technological battery on the market, and it was broadcasted on Tencent News, and all over China on Weibo, what did you guys think happened? And I told you guys our deliveries will go up. In terms of building sales capacity, the investments we have made in recent months have begun to take effect, laying the foundation for us to compete in the market in 2024. We lay the foundation for that long-term vision, man. We compete, completed our plan to add a thousand battery swap stations and 10,000 charging files. And we made that fully aware of on Neo Day. Again, it was broadcasted on Weibo, Tencent News, Shanghai News, and all over China. So now they know we have more charging files than any other EV company that the Tesla drivers, the Tesla uh, uh, drivers in China are using our piles. I hope you guys know that. If you didn't know, you know now. Fulfilling our promise to customers. We made the per day battery rental service available, <laughs> generating more revenue. The 150 kilowatt battery passed regulatory filings and was tested in real life. And the system of rechargeable, swappable and upgradable services was improved. My God. In November, we signed cooperation agreements on battery swap it with outstanding peers, outstanding peers, <laughs> including Changnan Automobile and Gili Holding. And the opening and sharing of Neo's battery swap network took a historic step forward. They have to come to us with that sexy guy, Benjamin Franklin. Charging and battery swap services are not only our strengths, but will also become an important business growth point in the long term, bringing that bread. In a cooling capital market, we have successfully introduced strategic investment to replenish capital and resources for the next phase of development. And NEO's technology strategy and growth prospects have been recognized by, by long-term investors. The Abu Dhabi boys, the boys with the big bread, they recognize when the sheeps are running and crapping in their pants, watery crap. It ain't even solid crap. Thank you all for your hard work together. We have proven the stamina to stay true to our original vision in the face of pressure. Is it getting better, guys? It's getting even better. Listen, when I say it's getting better, it's getting better. And we have the execution ability to face problems head on and solve them. Over the past few years, the share of plug-in hybrids, extended range vehicles, ERVs, entry level battery electric vehicles, BEVs for the mass market has increased rapidly. Starting from 2024 with the accelerated availability of charging and battery swap facilities and changes in consumer psychology. Did you guys hear that? And changes in consumer psychology. The premium pure electric market where the Neo brand is located will reach, get ready for this, get ready for this, an inflection point of explosive growth. Boom, boom, boom. In the second half of the year, we will launch the second, and oh my God, this is the meat of it. This is what I want you guys to hear. In the second half of this year, we will launch the second brand for the mass market. So what does that tell me? The news from yesterday was wrong. It means we will still launch a brand in the first half of this year. Booyaka, booyaka. We're gonna devastate them with that SUV. We're gonna dominate them. Oh my God, man. Tesla Model 3, be afraid. Be very afraid. Geely, be very afraid. BMW, be very afraid. We're coming. We, which will bring new growth points for the company while serving more users. More users, meaning the middle class. Bang, bang, 
bang! Our continuous investment and in-depth layout in technology, products, services, and community give us the confidence to participate in the next stage of the competition. Colleagues of the next two years will be the most important stage in the transformation of the automotive industry and the intensity of competition will be beyond imagination. And it will be beyond imagination for the other brands. They will be devastated. We will face stronger competitors, more and more excellent products, more intense price wars, a more complex public opinion atmosphere, and a macro environment full of uncertainties. Every colleague must be prepared enough to give up illusions and face the challenges head on. Pressure and challenges are always the best opportunities for outstanding companies to improve their capabilities. Remember I said that before? Where certain administrations over here in America is blocking the Chinese, just like in Europe, they are gonna stay in the dark ages. Why? Why is it in China they're innovating at such a fast pace? Because all these Chinese companies are competing against each other and they're taking the best of the best and putting them to work, not putting them on the bench. So they continue to innovate at such a pace that what China will look like the Jetsons, the Jetsons that cartoon soon, while we look like we're living in the 1600s unless we open up the market for real competition. I expect you to join me in doing the following in the coming year. Prioritize the essentials and focus on high priorities. The company's three high priorities are ensuring long-term investment in key technologies to guarantee technology and product leadership and on time high quality delivery. Ensure that sales and services capabilities are able to cope with fierce market competition and that sales capabilities are converted into sales as soon as possible. Ensuring that the development of nine core products under the three brands is on schedule, nine core products. The company resources are limited. Each department and each colleague should make full use of VAW working method, clarify the working idea and work focus. Ensure that the outputs of the departments and your own work are consistent with the company's high priorities and improve the company's overall operational efficiency. We need to establish systematic capabilities at all levels. And after nine years of development, our business framework of product, technology, and service community has basically taken shape. The chips are falling in place. King William Lee is moving the chessboard around. And the chips are coming together. While everybody else was billing plastic, we were billing machines, machines. Supporting multi-brand, multi-region, and multi-platform has been e initially established, but our systematic capability is still far from our goal. Imagine this, the standard this man is setting, and you wonder why he is the king at the round table? The smart TV industry has a large volume and a long industrial chain, and a 1% gap is systematic. Capability means a 10% gap in sales volume and profitability. Systemac systematic capability is the most important capab capability we need to improve at present. We will have fewer tasks in launching new models in 2024, which will be good. A good window of time for us to improve our systematic capability. The construction of systematic capabilities requires the active partic participation of all colleagues. Each Factors set clear goals and utilize resources on the cutting edge. Oh my God. Each department needs to be agile and responsive to changes in the market so as to adjust. We need to strengthen our cost awareness. We will firmly invest in research and development. The company resources are limited and we are still suffering losses from R&D and infrastructure investments and need to continuously improve our financial performance in order to support the company the company's sustainable growth. So he says we need to put our penny for our investors and shareholders money to good use, optimizing every penny. So in 2024, we need to be resolute in avoiding ineffective and inefficient investments and spending money where it does not create value for the company and its users. We need to save every kilowatt of electricity, every paper that we print on, Excellent companies achieve success in a marketplace with optimal investment of resources and we need to set the highest fine management goals and execute them with determination. Remember when I said that? 
Elon Musk talk about here in America where guys don't even want to go to work. In China, they work up to the morning. Our journey is a marathon on a muddy road and we can gradually take the lead by sticking to each step. Now I will give Elon Musk credit because in the beginning of his company, he even slept in the factory floor to show them I'm here with you. And this is the, 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 the culture of all Chinese. Excuse me, guys. In 2024, and let's end with this, let's focus on the construction of systematic capability, face the challenges, and move forward firmly and move up together. Drop mic moment. Guys, the most important thing, and all of it was important, is one. <laughs> he said by the second half, we'll be releasing a second brand. So that means the first sub brand is coming in the first half. So that news by Tencent was wrong. The first half we're releasing that SUV. My God, in the second half is probably the second, he said the second Alps, and we will probably be releasing Fly Firefly into Europe as well. Some of the shorts are already shitting in their pants. And they're saying, oh, well, you know, um, other Chinese companies um, or, or European companies put out small cars and it didn't work and like nonsense shut your mouth shut your mouth if you go to France and Italy and certain places in Rome and what have you the roads are so small these is this is what is needed I think Larry Morena one of my subscribers rightfully said so himself he, that these small you know like the small Mini Cooper is the perfect thing over there in Europe he has one we're gonna dis devastate the landscape guys i'm so proud of you all for holding this i said it last year this is our year the year for neo lions my god man when we break out this year they they, <laughs> they won't be able to hold us back and like i said the analysts will be their tongue will be twisting in their mouth oh it's great they they're turning things around yeah yeah we're turning things around all right so if you guys found this video to be informational and inspirational guys don't forget to hit that thumbs up but i want to do something different in this video as well i call myself money making mitch i want you guys to put in the comment section mm and your first name or last name or mm with one of your initials because you too are money making if your name is john money making john if your name is mary money making mary because we're getting ready to make money if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, you might want to think about doing so. Because in this channel, we have that warrior mindset, like Fitty said. We get rich or we die trying, guys.